So what do we do? We just dissociate ourselves from animals? Are we not mesmerized by their beauty? Do we not have to spread the message about animal welfare? Well, I'm out of that. I do not want to kill animals to make fashion. It doesn't feel right. No, this is not Samita talking. This is Donatella Versace, creative director of the Versace fashion empire. Ever since the founder Gianni Versace was murdered in 1997. It is not all bad news. Good things are also happening in the world of fashion. Luxury fashion house Kering, which owns every other fashion brand from YSL to Bottega Veneta to Alexander McQueen Gucci has banned fur since autumn winter 2022. Gucci has launched Demetra. Demetra is a plant-based vegan leather. It is made out of 77% plant-based raw materials. The Italian fashion house Prada announced in 2019 that none of its brands would use far in either design or products. Sportswear giant Nike has collaborated with Pinatex. Pinatex is a pioneering animal-free textile made out of pineapple waste. I have spoken about Pinatex in my earlier videos. I will put them in the cards. Adidas has made its iconic Stan Smith shoes available in animal-free materials. We all know Angora fiber is soft, silky, smooth and lightweight. But do you also know very often the hair is actually ripped from the body of the Angora rabbit? So for such reasons, brands like Tommy Hilfiger, Valentino, Calvin Klein, Armani have abandoned Angora. I will be doing a disservice to eco fashion if I do not mention Stella McCartney here. Stella has worked without fur, skin, feathers, animal glue ever since she started in 2001. A vocal environmental activist, Stella started using sustainable materials and practices much before all of this became widely accepted. Stella's use of fabric made out of recycled plastic bottles, faux fur and mushroom leather definitely makes her the pioneer of environment-friendly fashion. So what can you and I as fashion designers do to prevent animal cruelty? Obviously, we say no to fur. Many animals are still alive. When the workers flip them or hang them by their tail or legs to skin them. Other than the several examples of animal cruelty, a real fur coat will use up a lot more energy than fake fur. And also, because of the chemical treatment it goes through, it is rendered non-biodegradable. We replace animal-based textiles with plant-based and or more humane options. For example, commercial silk can be replaced with peace silk or tusser silk. Animal leather can be replaced with vegan leather. What's the difference between tusser silk and commercial silk? In commercial silk, the cocoons are boiled while the silkworm is still inside the cocoons. In tusser silk, we wait for the silkworms to abandon the cocoons. And then the tribals in the forests go about collecting the cocoons and silk is spun 
from those abandoned cocoons. So we are not killing any silkworms there. So what do we do? We just dissociate ourselves from animals? Are we not mesmerized by their beauty? Do we not have to spread the message about animal welfare? So we borrow from the animals. We use animal inspired prints and motifs. We use animal prints in pretty much everything. Clothing, fashion accessories, scarves, shoes, sunglasses, eyewear, swimwear, pet fashion. We think outside the box and come up with new colors and combinations. We combine them with florals, with geometrics. For instance, many designers like Roberto Cavalli, Diane von Furstenberg, DKNY have come up with their own versions, own interpretations of animal prints. Burberry has displayed some excellent giraffe and leopard prints. amazing about animal prints? They can be reinvented and come up in a different avatar every season. They can be worn anywhere and everywhere, irrespective of the weather, season or style. Some people think animal prints can be worn only by women, but that's not so. Animal prints are gender neutral and can be worn by men and women. Animal prints are empowering, stylish, adaptable and eye-catching. And what's the best part? Animal prints are classics, like the florals. Now every now and then, some Johnny come lately will come up and say, animal prints are out, they are out of fashion. But animal prints survive, aren't animals fighting a battle for survival against all odds. So how do we wear animal prints? The golden rule is not to wear animal prints from head to toe. Remember the adage, less is more. So guys, unleash your wild side. And while you are doing so, don't forget to smash the like button. Share your animal inspiration in comments. Stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Coming up next week on Learn with Samita, the connection between art and fashion. Till next time, Samita signing off. Adios, amigos.